And I read a story, uh, I forget exactly how old this story was, it's probably from about a year ago, uh, and I hate talk- talking about this topic, because I kind of promised myself that I wouldn't, um, so... Oh, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so, I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not familiar with this person at all, uh, there's... Uh, this video blogger sort of activist. No, uh, her name is uh, Anita. Uh, uh, um, her name is Anita is, Sarkeesian. Is this the same lady that harped on Hitman Absolution? She's harped on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's uh, I, the name sounds familiar as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's a feminist, and you know, and. You know, and there are so many people online who just do not like her, do not respect her, and for good reasons. Uh, and it has nothing to do with she's a feminist, because there's nothing wrong with that. But you can go too far with it. <laughs> well, I would say that's part of the thing, uh, is that she's using it specifically for her own agenda. Where, Ugh. Where she... You know, she claims to have this belief that she wants uh, uh, video game equality, which is bullshit. To <laughs> but she really doesn't, <laughs> uh, because people have brought up plenty of good examples of uh, video game equality. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, like I was watching uh, uh, I. A, another personality who you know did a couple of videos against um, Anita Sarkeesian, um, who is also a woman and who is also a gamer, and mm-hmm. you know, and she was talking about how like, huh, you know, it's funny how Anita, you know, like, you know, yeah, you know, she always seems to cherry pick a, a lot of these games, and she only talks about very sp- uh, about very specific things, but takes a lot of things out of context. Like, uh, with Watch Dogs, she brought up the whole sex slave auction scene in there and tried to use that, you know, as an example that, oh, this game promotes sexism without pointing out the fact that, you know, before that game came out, that whole scene was a trailer that your character infiltrated this group and exposed them. For being sex, uh, 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 you know, for, for being, being sex track workers, <laughs> uh, and got the leader of it arrested, mm-hmm. and then like you know posted uh, it on like numerous video sites that like this guy is a sex sl- slave trader. <laughs> that that was a fucking trailer for the game, and yeah, it's a mission in the game, but. No, she makes no mention of that at all. She just shows the scene as to be like, oh, see, this game promotes this sort of thing. You're taking that heavily out of context. Mm-hmm. All of it. Yeah, there are people that are dressed up, but that's all to explain, you know, how these women are treated. Uh, and then um, the Hitman Absolution thing, she claims that, oh, well, you're rewarded uh, if you kill... Uh, civilians, more specifically uh, in this scene, where... And I haven't played all of Absolution. I've only played about a couple hours of it. Mm -hmm. Where uh, you go into a strip club and you're looking for a target, and apparently there's this scene where you walk by um, a wardrobe area where a couple of dancers are, uh, you know, and just... You know, and claims that, oh, well, if you kill them, you'll get rewarded... And more specifically, if you pose them, you know, in specific positions or anything like that. And I remember when I played, uh, I remember that the game would punish you if you killed civilians. Mm-hmm. Because you're supposed to be a hitman. You're supposed to be a ghost. You're supposed yeah. to kill your target without getting caught. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, and also where like subtlety is the key. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can go, you know, full guns blazing, you know, and just like gun down, down the... everything that moves. But yeah, which I will admit is kind of fun. But again, it's a yeah, fucking it, video game. It's something game. you try like after you've saved it. <laughs> yeah. Well, as hell, uh, I mean, when I did uh, my J Dog plays video, uh, I did like several attempts where I just gunned down the fuck out of everybody, including the target. And somehow I got away with it. Yeah, no. uh, but yeah, but I wasn't you know rewarded for killing civilians. Yeah, you know, and so this whole claim about you know because uh, um, because obviously like a big argument that comes out of it is that I'm sure a lot of people claim that she doesn't really play any of the games that she talks about, and I would have to believe that if she says something like that about Watch Dogs or about Hitman is that you didn't actually play these. You just watched these clips and then you took them and then said like, oh, see, 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 look, and took everything heavily out of context. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I mean, this person who I started following uh, who did this video about her uh, you know, just heavily criticizing her and kind of calling her out. Um, I'm trying to find her channel. Uh, Margaret uh, Lack Lehman. Uh, you know, because a lot of people have even sent suggestions about positive female role models uh, you know, in video games where, because I guess like part of the thing was that Anita was asking for like, oh, like we need, you know, more female, uh, you know, uh, centered or like positive games. And people kept on throwing out like Portal, Portal 2, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Now, yeah, you know, maybe not, you know, like old Tomb Raider, but certainly current yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, but yeah, I mean. Oh, Metroid. Yeah, the Metroid series. <laughs> Uh, maybe not Metroid Other M, but you know, up yeah. until that. <laughs> um, you know, and it's funny, you know, because, uh, you know, because, because she hasn't, you know, really looked at, you know, uh, most of those games. Certainly not Portal, which is now, yeah, uh, the protagonist of Portal. You know, she never says anything or never really talks. In fact the whole idea that she is a woman, you know, doesn't really play any part into the game at all. But still, she's a woman. Yeah. Well, and also the fact, too, that, like, GLaDOS, you know, she will, you know, make reference to that and then even, you mm -hmm. know, make jokes about the fact that, oh, uh, you seem to have gained weight or whatever. Uh, yeah. You know, and... You know, and yeah, uh, Portal 1 and Portal 2 are perfectly good examples you know, of that type of game, but they just overlook it and, you know, just don't bother to pay any mind to it, which basically says that, oh, you are just ranting and complaining just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of ranting and complaining. <laughs> yeah, uh, your real agenda is obviously complete and utter bullshit. So, mm -hmm. um, and I did a video, you know, kind of talking about her like a year ago and kind of, uh, my final thought on it was just ignore her and she'll go away. Well, apparently her and Zoe Quinn, who was another, uh, I don't remember. I mean, I think, I think she was a game dev, uh, she and Anita, went to the UN, apparently, and were, I guess, asking for some form of support because they were talking about mm -hmm. how they don't like how they get treated online <laughs> and all this, which just sort of made people go, really? Uh, which makes no goddamn sense. Um, and I like what... Uh, uh, what Margaret had to say about it, about how, like, uh, you really think that going to a bunch of politicians who specialize in doublespeak uh, and complete and utter hypocrisy 
is, you know, um, you know, and kind of bitching to them about how like you don't like how people treat you online. You really think they give a shit? No. Nope. No, they don't. In fact, they're probably you know not aware even of who you are. And the whole time I'm going, and the whole time probably thinking, why are we listening to this again? What does this have to do with us? Nothing. Oh, okay. You know, like, I kind of wonder, like, how that whole thing went. You know, like, even to begin with. But, yeah. Um, uh, who the hell knows? Uh, and apparently uh, there was a... Uh, there was a poll, I guess, done a while ago over in Germany that was actually, uh, you know, asking specific questions uh, to to gamers... Uh, you know, trying to find out, like, are gamers uh, sexist at all? Um, you know, and they would go back to these people who they asked, you know, like, months later or maybe even a year later and ask them, you know, if their opinions changed and overall found out that, no, gamers are not sexist. Now, this was only done, you know, over in Germany. Uh, you know, this wasn't, like, a worldwide thing. Mm-hmm. Um you know, uh, but I wonder how different uh, gaming or really any other uh, culture medium is in another country, uh, um, especially like Germany. But it's probably just as the same. Maybe it's not as accessible, you know, as it is. Uh, or uh, maybe for all I know, it is, you know, just as yeah. uh, accessible. Mm. Actually, I think the only place where it's not really super accessible would be like in China or Korea. <laughs> and probably Australia, too, um, because Australia has crazy... Uh, well, um, yeah, they, they do have like some crazy bands and whatnot, but... <laughs> yeah, like they don't allow uh, uh, like overly violent games yeah. over there, so... Uh, but, so yeah, so anyway. that was kind of interesting to hear about, so... Uh, well, now I didn't hear what the result was because Skype cited to oh, sorry. cut out for like a split second. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, basically, uh, they cited uh, um, um, on the poll that overall uh, gamer um, um, that overall male gamers are not sexist. Yeah, uh, I can kind of believe that because, you know, just speaking for myself, I don't really care. <laughs> me either. Yeah. You know, but bear in mind, I mean... I've actually created quite a few female characters, and I didn't... Me too. Try to make them, you know, overly sexual or anything like that. Yeah, well, I and... I just played them normal. <laughs> you know, well, because, I mean, there's a lot of differences, you know, between uh, sexism and what, you know, people think sexism is. Like... Yeah. Okay, like, just for example... Pornography is considered to be very sexist, and it is. It is sexist. Oh, big time! <laughs> but, you know, it's also, you know, um, it's a fantasy base, you know, to begin with. You know, it's oh, just yeah. jerk-off well, material, you know, is all it is. It's there, <laughs> um, it's there to appeal, you know, to, to your libido, you know, yeah, and... Yeah, and... This is actually kind of a surprising fact that I kind of got on this sh- show. They've got like 10 things you didn't know about, and one of them happened to be about women. And like, I think number nine was women like porn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there are and... women out there um, who do enjoy porn. Yeah. yeah. Most of them actually like porn, and most of them actually like girl on girl. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And. You know, and, like, the whole reason I bring that up is because, okay, so, like, we're gamers. Now, we don't play online like a good majority of other gamers do. We enjoy porn, uh, but at the same time, you know... Yeah, maybe mo- some of us more than others. <laughs> <clears throat> me. But, uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, well, that's just because, well, then again, you don't really have a normal sex life either. Uh... I was only saying Ow. that, well, 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 I was only saying that because, like, well, I don't have a normal sex life, but then I had to bring up the fact that, well, you don't really either, but, um, <laughs> but, you know, but people, you know, 
I'm sure anybody would attribute, you know, the fact that, oh, well, you like porn, then you're automatically a sexist. Well, your argument is kind of null and void because just about everybody, everybody enjoys likes porn. porn. <laughs> it's like everybody likes porn. I guarantee you there's some Amish porn out there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a lot more downplayed. Like, oh, she's showing some ankle. She's showing yeah. some ankle there. Mm. Yeah. But uh, the point is, it exists. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, in fact, I think there's an internet rule. I think it's like rule 39 to where if it exists, there's a porn of it. <laughs> uh, I think that's uh, rule 34, actually. Ah. But uh, eh, well, I was close. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, yeah, there are the extremes um, of pornography. You know, just like there is, you know, to anything else. Mm -hmm. Uh. You know, and I mean, I won't get into that. And, you know, and I've seen bits of it, you know, like I'll, you know, uh, you know, like I'll just say like right off the bat. Curiosity kind of keeps a peek at it, you know. Well, 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 uh, no, no, because just instantly. Oh, dear God, I really wish I hadn't seen that. Um, yeah. You know, like one thing, you know, I'll admit uh, when it comes to pornography that I absolutely hate is that. Uh, when you get a guy who just randomly, whether it's hard or soft, when they just decide, I'm going to kind of slap the girl in the face. I really hate that shit. Yeah, that's... I absolutely hate it. It turns me off. It makes me upset. And I can completely understand that. <laughs> yeah. And... It's like, if I see that happening a lot, I will immediately just turn off the video. So. So, yeah, so take that, you know, for what it is. Now, I understand there are some porn actresses and whatnot who might be into that. Okay, that's your thing. It's not mine. Yeah. So. Uh... So yeah, so, and I mean that's one extreme, and you know there are many other far more. Uh, like, yeah, there's far worse extremes out there. <laughs> yeah, 